How's it going guys? Angus here from Makers Muse and in this video I'll be showing you how to print any colour you want using only clear PLA that's coming up. Okay, so I didn't quite tell the full story. What I have here is clear PLA. It's probably the bog standard starter plastic that you've all been familiar with, but it's pretty boring. How do you add colour to it? Well, you use something like this. This is cheap spray paint. You can spray it onto your model, but when you spray paint the model, of course, it can rub off when it rubs on something and then you see the plastic underneath. So I thought to myself, okay, what happens if you spray not the model, but the filament? Yes, I went there. I got some sample filament off my PLA roll and then I spray painted it with this blue and this chrome. These are just really cheap spray paints I got from Bunnings. They cost me sort of $3 each. They were the cheapest I could find. And I just literally sprayed them onto some samples of PLA and then took them to the printer. I printed them on my Wanhow i3 at regular PLA settings and I was blown away by the results. So basically what's happened is the spray paint on the surface has combined with the plastic as it's been melted out. So it's now one with the PLA and the result is colored PLA plastic in any color you want. It literally works that easily. There's nothing more to do. It's such a simple hack and I guarantee most of you guys will be trying it this weekend because I had no nozzle blockages, no feed issues, and the filament actually turned out really nice. And you can even do really funky things. I like only spray paint a bit of the roll. So you end up with stuff like this, where I've spray painted half of it with chrome and half of it with blue. So this Marvin has this awesome striation effect through it. And you couldn't do that with any other method of painting, but I painted the filament, then printed it with it. So it looks really, really cool. So a few gotchas, you're obviously using spray paint, so you need to do this in an open area with good ventilation because you know there's aerosols in here and you don't want to breathe them in. And when it comes to printing, I'm not sure if the paint actually affects the strength of the plastic. You may have to do some experiments and make sure you're not using it for a strength critical application because I would, I would assume that the pigments in the paint do affect negatively on the strength of the plastic. And there may be a few fumes coming off the, the printing that, again, do it in a ventilated area. You don't want to be 3D printing in a small bedroom anyway, do you? And as a final note, I am not responsible if your nozzles do block up. Mine didn't, but your situation may be different. And I am printing with a very cheap printer, which I don't care if the nozzle blocks as well. So don't feed this plastic that you spray painted through your $10,000 3D printer because I don't want you coming crying to me if something happens. So thanks for watching guys. I hope you enjoyed this really quick hack on adding color to your 3D prints. It's super easy to do. I was blown away by how well it works and I guarantee half you guys will be trying it this weekend. If you enjoyed this video on 3D printing, please do feel free to subscribe to Makers Muse for more 3D printing tips, tricks, and reviews. And I'll see you again soon here on YouTube. Thanks for watching guys. Bye.